Okay, so there are thousands, literally thousands of joint classification schemes, dependent on which discipline you're in, if depending on which clinical track you're in. We're going to kind of break it down into the most common types. So before we do that, though, we have to talk about the two main categories of joint classification schemes. The first we're going to discuss is joint structure. So the type and the organization of the soft tissue, specifically the connective tissue, that's going to actually keep the bones together. So, like I said, there's going to be two types of these. Either the connective tissue is actually binding the bone. So remember, anytime I have CT, I'm saying I'm that stands for connective tissue. So the connective tissue is actually going to attach the bones to one another. Or the other more common type is going to be the connective tissue is going to be on the edges and what's referred to as a capsule. And then you're going to have space in between the bone. Okay, so those synovial joints, those freely movable joints, are going to be examples of this. You're going to have an articular capsule, then you'll have a synovial cavity that's actually going to separate the two bones. So really important in terms of allowing the bones to move. So that's how you're going to separate in terms of joint structure. Another way to think of the differences between joints is how much movement is allowed at the joint. There are three possibilities here. The first is going to be no movement whatsoever. So these are, you're going to find these in terms of those synchondroses, in terms of the epiphyseal plates, also in terms of the sutures of the skull. No movement is allowed there, unless something is wrong. The second type is going to be slight movement. And we'll talk about the actual titles for this uh, a little bit later on in the module. These are going to be in areas where you don't want to have a lot of movement, specifically in distal ends of long bones. So these are referred to as amphiarthrotic. And lastly, you're going to have freely movable joints. And these are going to be those synovial joints, which also are associated with those articular capsules that we discussed in terms of joint structure.